Are you looking to transfer your Soho form to JotForm? Well, that is possible with our import feature. So let me show you how on this video. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to transfer your Soho form to JotForm with our import feature. It's going to be super easy, and it's going to help us because we're going to be able to customize further our form with JotForm. So let's get started. First thing that we're going to do is head on over to our Soho Forms account, and you're going to head on over to your Forms section. Once you are here, you're going to head on over to your form. Let me show you what this form looks like. For example, I've created this contact form and this is what you're going to view. So this is what we have. So we have the name, phone, address, a drop down menu, a website um, option, well, question, and the email. So that's what we have right now. Let me show you the edit section for Soho Form. Wait for that to load. There we go, it's still loading. So these are the basic elements that we have um, for the theme settings well it's very limited we don't have a lot to do there are advanced fields and that's basically what you get with soho form um that's not their main priority that's why it's not so complex and maybe that would be a reason that you want to switch from soho form to jot form so how are we going to transfer so let's go back into our form section let's hover over the contact form that we're going to work with let's go into the share let's click on it here we go. And here we have a URL that we're going to copy. Okay. So it's been copied. Let's go into jot form. This is the main dashboard for jot form. And what we're going to do is go into create a form. In this case, we are going to import form. So let's click on that. And in this case, we are, we are going to import from a web page. Let's go there. Let's paste our link, create the form. Make sure that your Soho form is live. That way it can read the information and import it successfully like we're going to do it right now. There we go. It imported the information. So we have the fields for the name, phone number, the address, the drop down menu, the website and the email. So that was super easy to import all the elements. Now, this could be really useful if you don't want to do this manually instead of just dragging every single element to recreate this. It's super easy to just import that form over here and get these elements. Once we are here, we can customize it and we have so many settings to customize that you can work with each one of these to make it customized. So we have options and settings for each one of these. We can change the colors, theme. So for example, if we go into the form designer, we can change the design of this form depending on what you want. Or for example, for the themes, Maybe you like something that's already pre-built. If we're going to use this theme, there we go. It's updating. See how that looks really nice. We can make these shorter if you don't want to have them full width. For example, if I click on the element, I'll go into the properties, go to advanced, and we can go into shrink. So I shrink that. Let's go into the next element, which is the name. Again, the advanced options for this. Let's go ahead and shrink it, and it's going to move it to the top. This way we can have a more contact, a compact form and a better looking form. So you can do these with the elements, shrink them so it looks nicer, but you can see that we have a nice looking form that we can work with and make it more advanced than what we would have on Soho form. For example, there's a lot of elements for the basic elements. There's the payment gateways in case you guys want to make this a form for payments, for donations, or if you want to sell some products some digital products, that's possible with this and a ton of widgets to work with. In case you need something more advanced, there's a ton of widgets here. There's also available settings for form settings, emails, conditions for conditional logic, changing the thank you page, integrations with other automation applications, approval flows, mobile notifications, and our published options. So you can do a whole lot with job form. Well, that is how you're going to import your Soho form into JotForm with our import feature. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.